The Nil Sports Center will be over a college football game preview and prediction on a big matchup coming up here in week 13 of this 2022 college football season. And it's going to be with the Kansas Jayhawks and the Kansas State Wildcats. Huge matchup for both these teams coming up here in week 13. You got Kansas, who is 6-5 on the season. This team is bowl eligible for the first time in over 10 years. And they're taking on Kansas State, who is having a great season at this point. They're 8-3, ranked in the top 15. And this team is in a good position to potentially be playing for a Big 12 title next week. So, But first, they got to take care of Kansas. And the Jayhawks are having a great season to this point, especially for their program. And this is a talented team here in Kansas. They have lost uh, four of their past five. But this is still a talented team and definitely one that shouldn't be slept on. We'll be going over a full game preview and prediction on this match for today, starting with your team, Trans Kansas. Lost to Texas 14 to 55 in in last week's game, and that was a disappointing, the worst loss of the season. You could definitely say for the Jayhawks, and it's kind of ironic because Kansas last year, their huge win of the season was to Texas. They beat Texas on the road last year, and obviously the Longhorns came back this year, and uh, they took care of Kansas no problem, 55 to 14. Jayhawks are six and five on the season, three and five in conference. Obviously, this team started the season 5-0. and They were a huge storyline uh, when we were in mid-October because of how surprising it was to see Kansas of all teams at 5-0. and But this team then did lose to TCU. It turns out to be still undefeated. I mean, they kept it within a touchdown to TCU. And since then, they have lost, you could say, five of their last six. So uh, this team has taken a few losses down the stretch. But uh, this team is bowl eligible, which is obviously very... Uh, which is a great achievement for Kansas and building on the future. And they got Jalen Daniels back. They have dealt with some injuries off and on, which has impacted this team, it's safe to say. Uh, but still, this is a talented Kansas team and uh, something that we don't see too often out of a Kansas football team. So this is a, you know, a winning team this season. But as for Kansas State, this team is definitely a winning team this season. They beat West Virginia 48-31 to last week on the road. So a a solid win for Kansas State. I mean, allowing 31 points is less than ideal, but at least the offense got it done. They're 8-3 and three on the season, 6-2 and two in conference on a two-game winning streak as well. And Kansas State is a team that's really been a dark horse in the Big 12 all season long. You got TCU who's been the big standout this season. They're undefeated at 11-0. You got Texas, who is 7-4 on the season. They've kind of been up there. Oklahoma State is, was a big standout for the first half of the season. Obviously, everyone thought Baylor was going to be good this year. Same with Oklahoma. And then you got Kansas State, who's just been in the middle of all of that. And turns out K-State is currently sitting at second place in the Big 12 at 6-2 and two, um, in conference. And they're in a pretty good position right now to uh, be in the Big 12 title game next week. I don't know if they've clinched quite yet. Uh, obviously, the only team that could take their position is Texas. And when Kansas State and Texas played this season, the Wildcats did lose to the Longhorns. So the thing is for Texas here is if Texas does uh, win this weekend, they um, play Baylor. If they win and Kansas State loses to Kansas, then the Longhorns get into the Big 12 title game to take on TCU. But if Kansas State wins this game, it's over. They're in the Big 12 title game. That's how you know if the Wildcats, Wildcats can get in. So they're in a good position here. I mean, they... They're taking on Kansas at home, but once again, this is not a Jayhawk team this season in particular that you want to be sleeping on because a lot of teams have been sleeping on the on the Jayhawks uh, in the first half of the season in particular, and in the end, they paid for it. Games around Saturday, November 26th in Manhattan, Kansas. Your kickoff is 7 p.m. Central. Spreads going Kansas State by 12, over under 62.5, and the FBI is going Kansas State 85.4%. So Wildcats are favored by a significant margin in this matchup. Series history. Kansas leads at 65 to 49. Kansas State has won 13 straight against um, the, the Jayhawks. And the last time Kansas won was 2008. So it's been a long time since the Jayhawks. And that's kind of been the theme all season. I've done more previews over Kansas than I have uh, in, in, any, in any time. Just because Kansas has been more relevant than they have in literally like 10 years. So, But in the Jayhawks, I mean, you just see all these streaks. Like Kansas is... Uh, losing streak to, to Oklahoma was one. I forget how many games that was. That was in the double digits for sure. And they've got multiple streaks, Kansas does, against Big 12 teams where they're just, they haven't beaten a team for over 10 years uh, for many teams. So, and this is one of those with Kansas State winning 13 straight. Once again, last time the Jayhawks won was 2008. So they're looking to 
break a long time streak there that's for sure stat comparison kansas is 28th in points per game this season this is a solid offense uh, in the jayhawks obviously we really didn't see this team be too impressive on both sides of the ball last week against texas but in general this team has been impressive on offense you got jalen daniels who is coming back from his injury and that really i think uh, had an effect on this on this season for the jayhawks he got injured i think in the tcu game and so that led Jason Bean to be the starter then, and he was the starter for the next few games, the Oklahoma game, Baylor, Oklahoma State, and Texas Tech games. He returned against, or Jalen Daniels returned against Texas once again, and that didn't turn out too well as, as they lost the game 55-14. to So, um, I mean, Jalen Daniels led this team to that 5-0 start. He had, like, over 300 yards against Duke, that, that game against Duke, which turns out the Blue Devils are actually a pretty good team this season. So... I mean, yeah, for Kansas, it's it's great to have him back, but obviously this team just didn't play very well last week, so we'll see if they can bounce back here. But in points allowed per game, they're 117th. They're 54th in pass yards a game. They got a strong backfield as they're 34th in rush yards a game in the free yards allowed, 46th in passing, 118th in rushing. And as for K-State, they are solid on both sides of the ball. They are 30 or 29th in points per game with an average of 32 points a game. They're Allowing an average of 19 points a game, which puts them at 21st. So we got a strong defense here in Kansas State. They are not terribly great in the passing game, even though they're not bad. They are really good in the rushing game. This team is 21st in the country in, in the backfield. And then for yards allowed, they're 22nd in passing, 58th in rushing. So a solid K-State team here. And the quarterback situation has also been interesting for Kansas State. Adrian Martinez was the starter for most of the first half of the season. Maybe even a little bit past that, but he did get injured. Um, and that led Will Howard to be the uh, the primary starter for a few games. And for Adrian Martinez, the second half of the season has just been a mess for him. He's been in and out, and he played a little bit against Baylor. Um, he ended up leaving that game, and Will Howard has been the starter ever since. And quite honestly, this team is playing just fine with Will Howard as the starting quarterback. So might as well just keep him in. That really doesn't concern me too much, even though Adrian Martinez really... He broke through in the later parts of September, in particular that Oklahoma game. And, I mean, he, he was really playing well. He especially rushes the ball extremely well. And so, Will Howard, though, at, at the quarterback position, I'm not concerned. I think he's a very talented quarterback as well, obviously, by the results that he's shown up. I mean, when they played Baylor on the road, Kansas State did, they beat them 31-3 to with Will Howard as the... I mean, Adrian Martinez played for a little bit, but Will Howard ended up being the primary starter for or the primary quarterback for that game so i mean yeah kansas state this is a solid team even even with their backup quarterback in will howard recent matchups kansas lost to texas lost to texas tech they beat oklahoma state that's the one win that they have um in their past six games they beat them 37 to 16 they lost to baylor 23 to 35 lost to oklahoma as well by 10 42 to 52 that game was a shootout and, uh, I mean, Kansas was hoping to break a really long streak of losing to the Sooners there. They could have done it, especially Oklahoma. They were down in heading into that matchup. But in the end, they did take a loss. But, I mean, once again, it's been a solid season for Kansas considering where this team has been in recent history. And as for Kansas State, this team beat West Virginia 4-31, beat Baylor 31-3, lost to Texas, uh, shut out Oklahoma State, and lost to TCU by 10, 20-38. Your key points for this one, Kansas 6-5. and five. This team has had a great season. They have fallen apart a bit down the stretch. Jalen Daniels is back. The rushing game is very strong for the Jayhawks as well. Uh, so we'll see if Jalen Daniels can have a solid game and if this team can, can rally around that. And defensively, have been poor down the stretch. Defensively, this team has to be better if they want to beat Kansas State here, a team that's done fairly well in offense down the stretch. For K-State, Adrian Martinez out for an extended time. Doesn't look like he's going to be back for the rest of the season. Uh, from what I'm seeing, it looks like it's going to be a four to six week uh, injuries that's very unfortunate for him but once again i feel like if you're looking at this team i think they'll be just fine with will howard um and they're very much in big 12 title contention I mean, once again you win this game you are in the big 12 title game so that said let's get to the prediction here for kansas and kansas state coming up here in week 13 this turns out to be a pretty crucial matchup here especially for k-state and their big 12 title hopes and i'm going to go with the wildcats to win this one 35 to 24 I think Kansas hangs around in this matchup. They're going to make it a somewhat close game for a long time. I think K-State ends up pulling away, winning this game by a couple of scores in the end. But it's going to be a close one. I see, I mean, once again, I see it being a pretty close game. I think Kansas 
uh, puts up a fight in this one uh, and they head into bowl season as a six and six team even though i'm sure this would be a signature win that's for sure for the jayhawks if they can win this one especially going up against the k-state team that is ranked in the top 15 in the ap poll we'll see where they're ranked in the college football playoff rankings here tonight but as of right now kansas state is number 15 in the ap poll so i'll say 55 percent towards kansas state i do have the jayhawks covering the spread which is currently 12 points um, towards the Wildcats, um, which I've got Kansas State winning this game by 11. Uh, and the NI Jayhawks keep this one close. Over under 62 and a half. I've got the under for this one by a few points. I do think we end up seeing this be uh, more of a moderate scoring matchup, more than a shootout. But that's going to wrap it up for today. I've got Kansas State 35 to 24. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this matchup. And I appreciate you guys watching as always. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. Catch you on the next one.